All right, guys, welcome back. So in the last couple of videos, we learned how to create customers and vendors in QuickBooks Online. So now that we have customers, let's go ahead and create estimates. Remember from the last couple of videos, what is the difference between an estimate and an invoice? An estimate is a quote. It's not so much of a formal proposal. Your small business may not need formal proposals. So it could be long, 10, 15 pages. Uh, that's for big construction jobs and stuff like that. Uh, an invoice is a bill uh, for something we have done, either completed a service we offered or sold some products. So where do we go? So from the top, let's go ahead and click on, we're in our dashboard right here, let's go to sales. What we are going to do is we have our customers right here, and on the right-hand side where it says create an invoice, well, no, we are gonna create an estimate. Say we are a window washing company and a local car dealership needs a estimate from three different window washing companies, us and two of our competitors. So let's go ahead and go down here and click on create estimate. And here we go. We're going to send it to Mr. Buckshot Roberts. Go ahead and put an email in there. I'm going to send it to my email and we'll just see. And it should happen. I mean, as fast as an email, it should take less than a couple seconds. Expiration date. I don't know. I'm not too worried about that. If I'm sending out something, a uh, if I'm sending out a proposal, do they really need an expiration date from when they get your business or not? Um, but I don't know. For the sake of the tutorial, maybe you say you're just done holding on to stuff at the end of the month. We're gonna say that we need um, product or service. We'll do hours. We'll say five hours. General labor. This is what we're gonna charge you. General labor. Uh, window washing, general labor, window washing, window washing, just like that. So over here, we've got five hours, quantity five. What do we charge? We'll say we charge, we're rich, we're very good. We charge $100 an hour. We're not rich, but we are good, and they want the best. 100 bucks an hour, $500 is what we're going to bid this job for. You can have, you can add lines to it. You could have a bunch of stuff. You could clear your lines. We can get rid of those. Uh, nope, I didn't want to do that. Let's just go back from the top, hours, five hours labor. And let's go to quantity over here of five and then a hundred. Sorry, I'm wasting time. That's it, just like that. Now that's generally it. Like you can print preview it. Let's go and preview this. And it looks kind of funky right here. There's not much going on estimate, just like that. In the next video, let's learn how to create a more professional a more professional estimate. We can play around with all this stuff. We can add our logos. But for the sake of the tutorial, that's it. We just created it. Now let's go to uh, save and send. And again, you've got some more options over here. If you wanna add an attachment or a quick little memo, maybe you're throwing a you know 20% um, off if you do it before Christmas or something like that. We will save it and we will send it. Subject body, this and that. And it should show up as a PDF and you do not need uh, Acrobat to download it. So let's go ahead and send it. Send and close. Now let's go over to my email over here and let's pull it up from this side. It's going to come in from my external monitor. And there she is. Estimate 101 from Larry's Hot Dogs. Let's go ahead and click on that. And there it is. It looks funky as heck. And it's got some of my personal information up here. Actually, that's a fake phone number. That's my old phone number. Um, but that's it. That is how we send an estimate if we're trying to get business in QuickBooks Online. And in the next tutorial, let's figure out how to make this thing as pretty as the day is long. All right, guys, good luck with that. And I'll see you over there.